so thank you for joining me on another episode of welcome to my world We are back with another van episode guys and today um, we're going to be laying our, well in this video, I don't know if it'll be today, but we're going to be laying our floor um, and we're going to be putting the, what's the silver stuff we're putting up? The, uh, the vapour barrier. The vapour barrier. So we've just pulled up to, um, what's this place called, Nationwide Supplies in Buntingford and we've ordered some wood and bits for the floor so we're going to go and collect. So I'm not sure if we can uh, record in here, but we will see. So we are at Nationwide Supplies in Buntingford. Our shop is open for business. So apparently there's only two people allowed in here. So we'll see what happens. Guys, it's the next day again. Um, we went to the timber yard and we didn't do anything on the van yesterday. Um, we've got all the wood um, now cut for the floor and the batons, but you'll see as we lay that. Um, but first, we're going to be starting today with the vapour barrier. So we're going to do the headliner so we can put the up in the headliner bit at the front of the cab so that we can get that big um, liner out of the way because that's taken up a lot of room because obviously we've got the wood and everything so we're going to have to work around everything but we'll do what we can so yeah we're going to start off with the vapor barrier so let's get into the video Right, that's the headliner back up. That was an absolute bastard, just putting it out there. Um, that was really annoying, but we got there in the end. Um, and now we're gonna cover the wheel arches and then carry on with the walls. So, yeah. It's because we had so much insulation, it's made it chunky. Yeah, it was hard to get back up because it was uh, thick. Wheel arch down there. What? We're going to be on the wheel arch down there. Just looking at you. Okay. Look at that big vapour barrier roll. It's cool. And then we've got silver tape to go around the edges. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. Every bit we do now is making a visible difference. Right, so Sam is wrapping the wheel arch in the vapour barrier around the wires, which is not fun. It's got, oh, you got to cut out? No, you ain't got to cut out on this one, have you? I've just got to cut out the bracket that's in there because although that used to be used to hold some seats in, it might come in handy when we're building our bed and all the other wooden fixtures. It's just something extra to bolt onto that might be useful. Cool. It's going to be like a spaceship in here soon. Uh, either that or we're going to feel like a Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner? Yeah, turkey ready for Christmas Day. Nah. All wrapped up in foil, ready to go in the oven. Just space man. So that one will be able to go down there like that. And then that one will go down like that. And we'll just trim the excess off from there. Can you finish spraying for us? I've realised I've got myself stuck. Just that lip down in that corner. Cool. Thank you. 
We have finished for the day. It's ten past eleven. It is ten past eleven at night, and I'm going to bed, guys. Let me just quickly show you um, the vapor barrier because we finished all the vapor barrier. Hang so, on, got one more piece of tea. oh, but I might get finished. He'll, uh, he'll have finished that bit. So yeah, I'm going to quickly show you around the vapor barrier, and then we'll be back tomorrow to do the floor. Okay, so this is the vapor barrier, all in the walls. All up above, do 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 down below. Wheel arches, wheel arches, and this side up and above, up and up and above, up and down below. But you've seen that when we were doing this side, but you can't see it now because all the boards are there, and all the way along there. And these are our boards for the floor. And we've got Celotex and we're going to be back tomorrow to lay the floor. So that'll be fun and put five peas in our holes where the seats came out of. See you tomorrow. Good night. Right guys, it's the next day again. And before we start doing the floor, we are going to put five peas in all the little holes in the floor where the chairs came out of because they go through literally to the outside. So that's what we're going to start off with. Five peas. Silicon in them. Are we silicon in them? Uh, yeah, we got Tool Station's own version of No More Nails, Instant Nails, which is like a third of the price, and the reviews seem to say it's just as good. Okay, so that's what we're using. So, do I do want to show an example? Kind of. Okay. You know, the silicon. So, just a bit around the edge. Drop in your 5p. Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. Look at that, I've got no more holes. Now that's well, one. Not that one. One down and. Uh, do you want to place 5p's or do you want to squeeze the glue? I'll squeeze the glue. Go on then. No, I'll place the 5p's. Yeah, I'll do the 5p's. Make your mind up. 5p's. That is our five peas placed in the floor and now we're going to start laying the batons and then the Celotex and then the boards so exciting let's get on with that right so Sam's cut um, and numbered the woods to match the floor and marked on the floor where the wood goes um, so we've just got to find the batons and place them match the numbers like a game yeah, it's like it overly complicated jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Alright, number three is going this way and it's 175 so it goes in front of the wheel arches. If we place all of these and we can lift them up one at a time and glue them. Okay. That's a good fit. Nice and snug. Make sure we don't glue any extension lead under there. Yeah, that would uh, <laughs> that wouldn't be good. So Sam is on the last two batons and uh no, I do need to make another one. Oh you gotta make another one. Yeah, for the back door. Um Look, there was a big trip plate there. Just that here. To swim into. So yeah, just here. Yeah. So there'll be another one going next to another one, but although we'll have two right next to each other, it means that we'll be walking in and out the back and load things in and out. We'll be nice and secure. Yeah. Last one. Right, guys.
guys so all the sellotex has been cut um, and I'm gonna stick it down to the floor with some sealant <laughs> Right guys, I'm just going to show you really quick because it's raining so we need to put the boards in. But all the Salatex floor is down and all the silver tape is around the edges. And now for the boards. The boards are going down. Woo! Woo, it's looking like a camper van. Well, not quite, but it's coming more together. Yeah. It's just starting to rain. Right, last piece, then I will show you, I'll give you a little tour. Right, guys, so the ply line is all in. What do we think of that? So this is all the back, the back door. And then let me go up. You get your head now. Oh, it's really weird. Oh, I can't stand up now. Oh, man, I can't stand up now. So all the floor is all laid. Um... But we need to screw um we need to screw it to the batons that we put down sam's done like a little line like that all the way along so we know that <coughs> so we know where the batons go so that we can just follow it across the floor and screw in the screws but i can't believe it's actually we're coming we're getting there sam we really are we are getting there. I can't believe all the stuff on the driver's seat. I've got to move so I can go to work tomorrow. Yeah, there's that. Wow. Woo! Exciting. Guys, I can't believe we've got the floor laid. We've got... We've come so far from when we like started. I think this is episode five in the van series. I really hope you're enjoying them. Um, but yeah, I think that's enough for today. Um, we'll be back in the next couple of days to put the screws in the floor and show you... Um, perhaps when it's a bit more brighter and lighter in here in the day so you can see how far we've come and we'll be back well for you it'll be in a second so see you in a second hey guys this is going to be the last bit of footage for this video for this week um i hope you're enjoying the video we're enjoying doing these videos um so today uh last bit of video is where sam's just going to be screwing the screws into the wooden floor boards that we've put down um so yeah let's get into the last bit of video to start by putting these long ones in so there's a plank of wood here to support that metal tread plate the step but this wood is held in with no more nails but i want to secure it to this piece of flooring so just going to pilot drill it and then go for a long screw to secure that going to do four of those and then can screw that plate in what were you saying about the screws how long were those so, so the screws it? that we're using for the floor are 30 mil because we've got 18 mil plywood and 25 mil planks underneath so we should only go into the planks by 12 mil, yeah, which we means we've got 13 mil clear between the pointy bit of the screw and the floor of the van. Yeah, so I don't want to come out we'll when we filled fine. all the holes already. Yeah, we don't want to make any more. No. So I'm just going to pre-drill these holes. What, are these for the step plate to go back on? Yeah, I'm hoping this drill's charged enough because I didn't check the battery. Okay. <laughs> This might be enough to drill them in, it might not. Let's probably countersink it a little bit. Countersink it, eh? Yeah, it just makes the screw head nice and flat. Bit. <laughs> I think I need to maybe use a powerful drill on that. <laughs> Right guys, so all the screws are back in the, what's this called, the, what do you call it, plate? In the step plate step and plate. the plywood. And the plywood. We used 74 screws. 74 screws, well Sam did. <laughs> 74 screws, but the floor is down and nice and secure. Guys, that is it for this video. Um, 
thank you so much for watching and uh, we're getting quite far now guys next one's probably going to be i'm not sure yet if the next video is going to be the roof with the skylights and stuff or the cladding so join us in a couple of weeks on friday to find out what we decide to do next um thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next friday at 7 p.m ciao